So the Ruby community has uh, officially imploded, maybe worse than I've ever seen. And I got tagged to this topic by Marie. But before we get into the topic, let me show you the discourse here because this alone shows you how weird and awful the Ruby community is. So Marie tags me. Thank you for the tag. And this person seeker says he was banned for a reason. He never had anything positive to say about Ruby. So let me clarify that. I was never actually banned from the Ruby subreddit. Like my account personally was never banned. What got banned was me as a topic. Like they're not allowed to talk about me on the Ruby subreddit. I don't know why they did that. You'd have to ask them. And then this part's just a lie saying that he never had anything positive to say about Ruby. For two years, I also made positive Ruby content, reviews, theories, uh, reactions. I had a lot of good things to say about Ruby. Actually, I used to cosplay as Crow Bronwyn and go around malls. And when people would ask me what I'm doing, I would say I'm a character from Ruby. I'm Crow Bronwyn, the drunk uncle. He's awesome. Go watch ruby so to say i've never had anything positive to say about ruby's an overt lie i've had a lot of positive it's just that the show's gone like a terrible direction and the company that owns the show has also made a bunch of terrible business decisions and i talk about it but these people you know they ignore all the good that i did for years as well and it gets even weirder though check this out maddie then says she tagged him so he can cover the story as long as he just covers the story and doesn't bash the fandom or rooster teeth he's allowed to cover a story but knowing him he might stoop to that level sadly who are you to say who can cover a story or not? I swear, man, I've dealt with a lot of fandoms, but I think the Ruby fandom is the, the most bizarre. I don't even know how else to put it. Like, that's just so bizarre. He's allowed to cover a story. Anyways, the main topic is this. Not the tweet, but the Reddit posts. So let's go to Reddit. And we have a couple posts to take a look at, but let me just give you a TLDR with the caveat being... I haven't been active in the Ruby community for a couple of years, so I might not have this information 100% accurate, but here's the TLDR to my understanding. You have two main subreddits here, Reddit Ruby with 155,000 subs and Ruby Critics with 3,300 subs. Ruby Critics was made about seven years after the main subreddit, and I believe they made it because people would critique Ruby on the main subreddit, and instead of getting counterpoints to their arguments, people would just brigade them with hate, so they decided to make their own subreddit to critique the show. And it seems like there's been a decent level of turmoil between the two subreddits subreddits ever since. So 15 hours ago on the main Ruby subreddit, this post was made by the moderators talking about banning all active members of the Ruby critics subreddit from the main Ruby subreddit as well. They go into the alleged reasons why anything from vote manipulation and comment brigades to, you know, classic accusations of buzzwords that get thrown out like candy nowadays. It's especially hilarious how they end their posts talking about being open to any and all criticism. Meanwhile, they are banning thousands of Redditors for critiquing the show, and they won't even let the subreddit talk about reasonable criticisms from certain YouTubers. Like, again, they banned me from being discussed there, and I believe they even banned Eruption Fang's videos from being discussed there. Now, let's go back to the tweet that I was originally tagged on. This is the judgmental critter who is a active Ruby YouTuber person, and they even say, am I the only one who thinks this is terrible? I'm all for banning people who harass others, but this literally lumps everyone who even remotely participated in the other sub, that being Ruby Critics, as people who do that. And it's gross how many of the comments of this post perpetuate that idea. And this is Murder of Birds. He's like the biggest Ruby YouTuber. And he says, I love Ruby, but I'd, <laughs> I can't even actually repeat that part. I'd end it all if I only ever heard the same positive things about it. But uh, apparently the subreddit doesn't mind. Why does it feel like more people who criticize the show or even have good faith constructive criticisms are being treated like criminals? You know what? Hold up, though. Let me dial that back a little bit and be fair to YouTube here. I think they would let me say that. I'm just being paranoid. Actually, wait. I'm not paranoid. What are you talking about? Even a writer for Ruby, Eddie Rivas, would respond to Murder of Birds, saying, I hope they reconsider. I understand being in a tough position with moderation, but this doesn't seem to benefit the fandom or the series. And here's Kalaxin, another Ruby YouTuber who's upset with the choice by the moderating team on Ruby, And it's pretty telling that they're upset because they usually ardently defend the show. And another Ruby YouTuber, Dan, says that it's an abuse of mod power and that he's not going to use the Ruby subreddit until they change this. Well, actually, he says they're not using, Dan's not going to use Reddit. Uh, Reddit as a whole or Ruby, Ruby Reddit? I don't know. I'm just kind of having fun here. This is interesting to see. I got to say, the situation is extra amusing for me since I'm no longer actively in the Ruby community. It's like I just get to watch it all from the outside and it's pretty entertaining. Now back over on Reddit, and this is the Ruby Critics subreddit we're on again, they have a response to the main Ruby subreddit titled on the recent banning of all Ruby Critics users. And it's a very hefty post. It goes on and on and on. I'm not even going to scroll it anymore because it might hurt your eyes. It's like just a giant wall of text. But if you want to read it, I will copy paste it into the pin comment for you. It's 8,970 characters long. I would like to point out this response though, specifically the beginning of it, because this is actually a take that I've had for years. Maybe the main sub should be renamed Ruby Fan Art if all kinds of critical opinions, arguments, and discussions just get categorized as hate and have to be banned immediately. 
And it's not even just that. It's like most of the subreddit is just reposted fan art to begin with, let alone, again, the poor moderation. And hey, the fan art that gets posted is really good art. I'm just saying that in comparison to the fan art posts, there's almost no discussion posts. And then on top of that, you add the poor moderating, and yeah, it's just even worse. In other but related news, five days ago, a Ruby Reddit moderator, Chaos Phoenix 11 stepped down from his volunteer role after six years on the team. And over on our subreddit drama, there's also a post about this news you can see right there, made five hours hours ago. That takes us to this, an update from the mods over on our Ruby. Ezreal024 says, Evening. I'm stopping by to inform you all that the mod team is reading the ongoing discussion in this thread as well as the feedback we've been receiving via comments and mod mail. Everything is understandably quite busy and not everyone is awake or off work depending on time zones, so replies have been slow and for that we apologize. This is an ongoing discussion on the community's opinions and handling of today's announcement and the new rule. There will be a follow-up post addressing this by the end of the weekend at maximum. Thank you, Ezreal and the mod team. Check out the top responses. With all due respect, to your personal schedules, would it not have been better to make the announcements at a time when there could be mods on hand to respond immediately? Taking 14 hours to respond to the widespread negative reaction to only announce that there is going to be another announcement comes off as kind of bare bones. And another person says, I'm sure that if this was a more positive reaction by the community, that you guys would have found the time to respond. And on the flip side, there's also this one. Please don't waver in your commitment to the community to reject bad faith actors. People who are here solely out of disdain for people who enjoy the series do not deserve a place among actual fans. Actual fans. Yes, this is certainly not a slippery slope of the no true Scotsman fallacy. And you guys certainly don't ban true fans who simply have some opinions that would criticize the show, right? That would never happen. As you know, Rooster Teeth owns Ruby, so why don't we raise the stakes a little bit? Since we know there are at least three subreddits talking about this news, I decided to go over to our Rooster Teeth and see if they are too. And I was met with this post from a mere 21 minutes ago that says my post has been removed on the Achievement Hunter subreddit twice now, so I figure I'll post it here. If you don't know, Achievement Hunter is also a part of Rooster Teeth. I'm not going to read the whole thing, again, it's just too much text, but let's get the start at least. It's kind of sad even slight criticism is taken as a hate message. Twice now the mods have removed my post with no reason. If you don't want to change, that's fine. Just don't silence your audience when they have critiques after a decade of viewership. That's not hate, it's criticism. Stop deleting my post. Top response. I saw your post on the Achievement Hunter subreddit. It's honestly super disappointing. Even slight criticism is just removed without a second thought. I agree with everything you said. I still love Rooster Teeth and Achievement Hunter, but if they don't start listening to their audience, they're going to lose more views than they already have. Isn't that weird timing that the Achievement Hunter subreddit is removing criticism around the same time that the Ruby subreddit is? I guess we'll have to see if our Rooster Teeth removes this post as well. Although if they don't, we don't really know what that means. Maybe they're just seeing the backlash that's occurring from the other subs actions and they don't want to repeat the same thing. Did you think it ended there? Because it doesn't. Again, on our Rooster Teeth, here's a post from four hours ago. I'm sorry, but the live gameplay slash stream edits they put on the channel are honestly embarrassing. <laughs> Uh, again, I'm not going to read the whole thing. I'm just pointing out that there are so many people unhappy with Rooster Teeth for various reasons. This is nothing new. The community has been, been getting smaller, excuse me, for years. People have been leaving the Rooster Teeth community for years, going to other places that are more welcoming and more kind to the fans. Like, do you remember when RT hiked the prices up for first membership and people were voicing their criticism then? And a Rooster Teeth admin literally said, if you can't afford an extra $2 a month, then you shouldn't be paying for any online subscription until you get your finances in better order order. You know, I could probably just pull up hours and hours of stuff at this rate to go through, but I don't want to get too uh, off the main topic here, so I'll leave it at that. I think you get all the points. So as always, thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this video. Today, I will only have these two segments out, and we'll see what tomorrow brings. I hope to catch you then, and you have a great rest of your day.